So we've known for a while from epidemiological studies that um, people who self-report that they've eat, if they eat, tend to eat really fast, that they tend to be more at risk of developing type 2 diabetes over time. Now, um, this is uh, clearly these studies can have flaws because it's relying on self-reporting. And uh, really what we wanted to do uh, was to look at it more objectively. And we did this in the metabolic chamber that I lead on. And this is essentially looking at uh, human metabolism or metabolic rate in a very controlled environment. And we looked at a small number of obese women and looked at uh, eating a standard meal over 10 minutes versus 40 minutes. And then we looked at how many calories they burned in the two or three hours following the meal. What we found was in those who ate the meal slowly that they tended to burn more calories uh, during this uh, time period. Now, we know that following a meal, all our metabolism, metabolic rate tends, tends to become elevated. Uh, and this is because we, we're involved in digesting the food and this requires energy and we burn off more calories as a result. Um, so we don't know exactly why it is that there was this difference in the number of calories burned, uh, but we think that you know um, this could potentially be uh, an interesting public health message. Um, it's only one study, it's small numbers, so it needs to be validated in, in larger groups before we can really have a clear public health message. But certainly on the basis of the test that we did, it does look as if you know, eating food more slowly uh, may result in more uh, calories being burnt during digestion. And therefore, over time, one might expect that you might, uh, you know, uh, it might help with, with facilitate weight loss or at least help to prevent weight gain over time if we kind of slow down our eating.